Some, just like I, I'm always asking devotees, when you come to the temple, at least that time, do you wear your traditional clothing? There's no need for pants and shirts here. So you may think, well, it's not a very big thing. And ultimately, it doesn't matter that much whether you wear pants. You know, at least you're coming and hearing something about Krishna. But better, at least this time of the week, you wear your traditional dress and wear tila. Not going without tila. Everyone should wear tila. Even what, 10 years ago, they used to make the Nimka advert. Tunnel out of the land of tila. Now that's now it's, there's no linkers finished, by the way. Now it's all coke, right? And I don't know. I don't see the linker adverts. Either. And uh, tilak, people not, not so much wear it. So these very basic things. Don't eat this carny food. Eat the food that Krishna likes to eat. Offer that to Krishna. Don't lose your culture. At least these basic things. Then the the, uh, the bigger part of the culture, establishing the whole culture. Actually, that requires Prabhupada was talking about going to the land. If we're living in the cities, then it's very difficult to have this culture, which is favorable for Krishna consciousness. If we're living in the cities, doing some job, where is even the time for chanting Hare Krishna? I'm seeing people are using these clicking machines. Click, click. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, click, 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 Hare Krishna, click, click, click. <laughs> Why should that be? I guess because people are rushing off to the office and they have to click. Hare click, click, click. <laughs> they have to click because there's no time to. Actually, even if you're going to the office, you can still use beads. Better than clickers. But I guess that's come. Actually, when we first discovered these things, I'm, I'm, I'm the criminal who helped to discover these things. When we were in Bangladesh years ago, so going out on the streets, we couldn't use a bead band. Because that would be Muslim country. And they know what a bead band is. Even if you wear these neck beads, they'll point, even if you have kami clothes and no tila, say, Hindu! They'll point you out, because they know. The Muslims know also. But this shouldn't be required in, in India. You don't have to hide that you have been done. But I guess people are using because they're, they're somehow out there trying to fit 16 rounds in between working 16 hours a day and doing whatever else they Or working 12 hours a day and spending one and a half hours going, one and a half hours coming. So somehow or other you have to so click, 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 click. What's the number? 1,700 and something. Okay. I, I've clicked my rounds today. i finished clicking my rounds. So, but actually these things shouldn't be required. RT needs to be started. And started... We're over time. Okay, I'll finish here. Hare Krishna. There's a call for finishing. You want to announce it? Chapter 4, text 10. Does that mean as it is, as a direct translation? Chapter 4, text 10. Translation and commentary by His Divine Grace Shri Laisi Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada Kanda Acharya Visko. Vita Raga Bhaya Krodha Nanaya Namu Pashrita Maha Bhava Jnana Tapasa Puta Mad Bhava Madhata Maha Vita Raga Bhaya Krodha Nanaya Namu Pashrita Maha Bhava Jnana Tapasa Puta Mad Bhava Madhata so please read the word for word translation in the book. Uh, 
read the translation again. Krishna states here that many people have come to him by becoming completely purified. However, there are various obstacles to be crossed over before one can come to Krishna. If one is too much attached to this material world, he cannot become attached to Krishna. If one is too much afraid of the concept of God, then one cannot come to Krishna. And if one is angry towards God, if he feels animosity towards God, then he cannot come to Krishna. So when one is, when a person is freed from too much material attachment, from fear of God or the impersonal concept of God and from animosity towards God, then his faith in Krishna can be given. Too much attachment to this material world. Srila Prabhupada, in the purport, Srila Prabhupada has analyzed in some little detail about these various material impediments to be even beginning Krishna consciousness. Most people are too attached to this material world to take up Krishna just very seriously. They may be a craw patty or a hundred rupee patty, but whatever it may be. But if one is too attached, one cannot become Krishna conscious. It's not only attachment to money, it may be an attachment to anything, attachment to family. Putra Dara Grihadishu, Krishna states in India that one may be too much attached to family members and home and all these things. Manishtama Anavishvanga Kutra Dara Grihadishu So, it is expected that people have some attachment to their family members, but if one is so much absorbed in them that he cannot even begin to think of Krishna, then obviously he can't come to Krishna. Then, Krishna Kanthala, Patula Yaitabra, Ayur or one may be attached to some bad habits. So these are all obstacles on the path of taking up pure emotional service. Now here Prabhupada analyzes fear as being that which leads to uh, an impersonal concept of God. That some people are not very attached to this material world, but they're also not attached to Krishna. And we'll find many saintly people in India who are actually very detached from this material world, but still not attached to Krishna. One famous example in Tamil Nadu was this uh, Ramana Maharshi. Who was definitely very detached from this material world. He was living a, a life of detachment. And people respected him for that as a saintly person, Sadhu. But he wasn't attached to Krishna as a devotee. Now, Prabhupada analyzes here that this is actually due to fear. 
இது வந்து பயத்தினுடைய காரணத்தினால the people the they want they take up spiritual life but they they don't feel inclined to surrender to the personality of god and krishna makkal vandu aanmiya vaiye merkolranga ana avanga vandu bhagavan oru murumuda navas abingra enathukku varamaatenga they may also be envious of the supremacy of krishna அவங்க வந்து கிருஷ்ணனுடைய ஆதிக்கத்துக்கு மேல பொறாமையும் that even if someone is very much detached from this material world if they're not attached to krishna then their spiritual life is still very much incomplete dalalavatar adhigapatcha patratra tanmaila irundho krishna mela patrathil illama irundhal appadina avare aanmiga vaalkai mulume illadhaa irukku one who has not tasted the nectar of chanting krishna's names even they may be very detached from this material world but they're missing the real nectar of spiritual yaravo the mahanuya punida namanta java mantra and ruchi aryadamva irunda avanga vande evlo periya patratra makkala irundalum avangale aanmiga vande murume prada one who does not take pleasure in hearing about the wonderful pastimes of krishna then uh, however much detached they may be from this material world they are missing the actual nectar of spiritual ஜாரோதம் <laughs> Krishna they may not accept that against God in general they don't really know who is God but they think if he's there I don't like him Krishna abhina yaadu theyam ora irukla poduva kadavul eduthukom abhina avaru therunda avara naan verukla they think that well god should just do what i want and if he doesn't then you know we reject him அடிப்படையில <laughs> அவங்களுக்கு <laughs> 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 I am giving practical demonstrations of what Krishna is stating here. I am speaking from Bhagavad Gita. Yes. 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 Which means that not worshipping Krishna. Which is the point that is being made by Krishna in this verse. You can say. So these Raga, Vita Raga, Gaya, Krodha. Attachment, fear and anger. These are three principles by which one does not come to Krishna. There is one uh, incident this is from maybe about 70 years or more ago. If we give from the past then people don't mind because they're not attached to the past. If we give from the present then people become upset. 
Oh, or this is an example from Assam, so no one will get upset because we're not attached to Assam. If Assam falls into the ground tomorrow, no one here will care. So one man uh, came to our Param Guru Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Goswami Prabhupada and told him, I had a friend who he became very religious at one point. That his daughter contracted some severe illness and that man he became very religious and he would go and visit his guru every day and perform so many pujas and he would always chant Gora, 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 the name of Gora Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and then his daughter died in severe pain so when his friend came to see him next time he said, he didn't know his daughter had died. He said, how is your Gaurav Ajahn going on? How is your worship of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu going on? He said, there is no Gaurav If there had been, he would have saved my daughter. He would, then he would have expanded his glory and so many people would have worshipped him. So this man who was relating the story about his friend whose daughter had died, he asked Bhaktisiddhanta Saraswati Thakur, that how did he change from bhakti to an atheist so quickly? So Bhakti Sansasar Thakko said that he was not worshipping Gauranga, but Satan in the name of Gauranga. He was not worshipping the Gauranga of Srivash Thakko. Srivash Thakko, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu used to perform kirtan in his home in the night. And one night during the kirtan, Srivas heard some crying from the back rooms. So he didn't want the kirtan to be disturbed, so he went out and stopped. Why all the women are crying? And they said, well, your son just died. He said, well, anyway, keep quiet, you can cry later, but don't disturb Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's kirtan. So later, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu asked, something happened in this house? And Srivas said, yes. What happened? Well, my son, then why didn't you tell me? I didn't want to disturb your kirtan. So then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu came and he uh, called to that jiva who had left the body of Srivas' son. And the jiva spoke and said, Yes, due to my, according to my karma, I took bath in this home and now I'm going away. And I pray for the blessings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as I go. So this is an example, uh, this Srivash Thakur, he was not attached to Putra, Dara, Vihadishu, to home, wife, children and so on, but he was fully attached to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Krishna. But generally people, if they worship God, they do so to increase their material attachment. And they try to adjust religion according to their own concepts. They think, what is nice for me, and in that way I shall take up religion. But here Krishna states that one has to give up all these materially contaminated attachments. And in this way one can begin to come to Krishna. Then one can begin to have faith that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. And that surrender to Him is the only purpose of life. Such faith is possible by Krishna's mercy which manifests in the form of association with His devotees. Bhaktis tu Bhagavad Bhakta Sangena Parijayate Faith in Krishna comes about by association with His devotees. And when one begins to have such faith in Krishna, then he will make a, a deliberate endeavor to associate with devotees. This is described in these verses which Prabhupada has quoted. Ado shraddha tata sadhu sangha. When one associates with devotee, devotee means a person who has fully committed their life to Krishna, then one 
also desires to commit himself to Krishna. And therefore, one uh, under the guidance of devotees takes up the process of what is called here bhajana kriya, activities of devotional service. These are listed, the 64 processes of devotional service are listed in the Bhakti Rasamrita Sindhu. When someone is uh, convinced that life is meant for getting out of this ridiculous material world and going to Krishna, then he will take these things. So the processes, those 64 processes I mentioned then, um, one should accept the Guru and then under his guidance one should follow the things, performing a Kadashi and chanting the holy names, visiting the temple, all these different points. Of them. And as a result of following these processes, then anartha nivriti, all the bad things in the heart, become diminished. It's understood when one first comes seriously to the process of bhakti, he may still have within his heart some attachment, fear and anger. But one has sufficiently become free from them that he can take up the process of bhakti seriously. When one takes up the process of bhakti seriously, then material attachments, leanings towards impersonal understanding of this nirguna upasana and this, uh, this uh, anger or rejection of God, these things become cleared out. Then, this, uh, then one becomes fixed in understanding Krishna. One becomes uh, very firm and there's no going back. Yes, I must go forward always in Krishna consciousness. This feeling becomes very strong. Then one gets a uh, strong taste in bhakti. From the beginning in bhakti, there is feeling, taste. It is desirable, it is sweet. One more feels a taste for serving Krishna. When one feels the great transcendental pleasure in serving Krishna, then uh, naturally one becomes very much attached to serving Krishna. Now here in the verse you're reading today, Krishna is stating that becoming free from attachment, one can start to worship me. But in the purport, Srila Prabhupada quotes a verse in which asakti, which again means attachment. This is attachment to Krishna. This is recommended as very good. So material attachment, that binds us to this material world. But attachment to Krishna binds us to Krishna. Krishna is not a product of this material world. Krishna is transcendental to this material world. This material world is a product of Krishna. So by becoming attached to Krishna, then we automatically transcend this material attachment. It's a very simple process. People try to, some people, not very many, especially in the modern age, but some people are trying to get free from this material world. And they do so by performing severe austerities like this. But a, a much more effective method is simply to become, to develop one's attachment for Krishna. Because Krishna is fully transcendental beyond this material world. So if we become attached to Krishna, then automatically we cross into transcendence. And as we become more and more attached to Krishna, then our transcendental ecstatic feelings for Krishna develop, which develops more and more into full love of Krishna, Krishna frame. So these, this is the stage of, these are the different stages of development of devotional service to Krishna. Mostly people have, 
no idea of this or if they have an idea of it, not a very clear idea. There are many misunderstandings about who is Krishna, what is the process of bhakti. Therefore, as Srila Prabhupada has given this Bhagavad Gita as it is, just to make the matter very clear, that to point out very clearly that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. He is not a personality of this material world. He is not devoid of personality, he is full of personality, but his personality is not contaminated by this material world. And everything that is going on in this world, whether it's so-called religious or political or social or educational or whatever it may be, which is not aimed at surrendering to Krishna, then it is simply another form of illusion. It will bind us to this material world. So, as Krishna is indicating here, one has to develop pure love for Krishna by giving up all material attachments, uh, attachment to the impersonal method of worship, or rejection of God. Shall I do that one at a time? By giving up material attachments? By giving up this uh, concept of God as being impersonal. And by outright rejection or anger against religion and God. These are all obstacles on the path of understanding Krishna. So if one can understand this essential point that Krishna is the Supreme Personal of the Godhead, I am his eternal servant, my only real interest is in serving him, then you know, this point is being made by Krishna in Bhagavad Gita and actually throughout all the Vedic literatures. And if one can simply understand this point, then with this faith one can go forward and follow the process of Krishna Bhakti, become purified by that process, and go to Krishna, which is the perfection of one, as described in this verse. Vita Raga Hayakrodha Manmaya Mahapashutaha Bahava Jnana Tatasa Putama Bhavavagataha Alright, is there any question about this? What is attachment? What is the meaning for attachment? That we were discussing in the, you know, in both in the purport and the class. Which so which point did which point did you understand? I know, but what point do you think the others didn't understand? No, sir, I'm not asking for myself. But what didn't you, I discussed it in the class. What is the meaning for detachment in this world? Detachment. Detachment. Attachment is well. Detachment means, as I quoted, I think, three times in the class from Bhagavad Gita, Anisha Anavishvanda Putra Dara Vihadishu. These are the main basic attachments that one has to home, wife, and children. This is explained in detail in the Srimad Bhagavatam. It's described that the basic principle 
of material existence is attachment between male and female. Allah Raja Patula there, in the Baudi the Yuta Puria lay Uraharikum, Pendukum, Purta Puria under Patula La Kano of Indi, which from that attachment expands attachment to one's home. And the Patula Lunde are the Wotamaya, Puruma Kutu, Riva Era there, one's country or one's local area in which one lives. Alagapra, Avadu Puria and the Samoa to go, Ila and the Artuka Riva Era to children, Abra Pasanguke, relatives, Sundakaranga, money, Parantumala. And in this way, one becomes illusioned and thinks in terms of me, I, me, and mine. In the Vishayu Murama, what are my Masapate, Yenorede, Yenaku, Yenorede, Apripata Vishayu Murama. In other words, one thinks that everything in relationship to this body is important. In your Vidama Surama Vina, Yenana Nikrana Vina, so, detachment means to understand that I am not this body and all these things which are in relationship to the body are not actually in relationship to me. So that is detachment. And even better than, than detachment is attachment to what I really am. It's not very easy just to be detached from everything all around us. Because we are living beings, so by nature we want to interact with other people and other things. So if we just try to stop being attached, it's not very easy. But if we become attached to Krishna, who is the, trans the transcendental personality of Godhead, this is our actual, this is our natural position of attachment. So if we become attached to Krishna, then very easily we become become detached from those things which bind us to this material world. It's not a difficult thing to understand. That everything in this world is temporary. We shall only be here a short time. So better that we become attached to that which is eternal. Krishna is eternal, I am eternal, he is supreme, he is the eternal supreme Lord, I am his eternal servant, so let me be attached to him. Krishna Nilayanava, Nanu Nilayanava, Krishna Vandu Nilayana Uttama, Nauriya Sevala, Inna Nilayana Nava Patulal Guru. By becoming attached to Krishna, we become detached from everything material. Any other questions? Very well, can we
No, attachment and desire are not exactly the same thing. Desire comes from attachment. And attachment comes from desire. Attachment means uh, that long standing or fixed desire. Desire is vague, but attachment means attachment to a particular thing. Just like in the uh, you know in the fairy stories, like in the in the movies or something, they'll say that one young boy will say that to the young girl that well I cannot live without you. Actually he can. I mean, the, body, the body lives by taking food and all these things. But because he's become emotionally attached to another body, then he thinks, I cannot live without this body. So this is an example of attachment. Due to that attachment, one has to take birth again and again. The theme of Bhagavad Gita is that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Forgetting Him, we are in this material world. Therefore, we should surrender to Him and go back to Him. Please take one copy we have here. Sir, I am having Bhagavad Gita, sir. I am having all the devotions. But I want to ask this person because I want to ask Well, do you have this Bhagavad Gita in my Arabil? Which, which, this Bhagavad Gita as it is, do you have that? Do you have this Bhagavad Gita as it is? Yeah, 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 I'm not. This particular edition? No, no, not that edition. Then you won't get any benefit. Why, why, sir? Because this is Bhagavad Gita as it is. And other editions are Bhagavad Gita as it is not. That is what you explain. In the Bhagavad Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, in the Bhagavad Gita, Mostly people are giving their own interpretation according to their attachment, fear and anger. They are giving their interpretation according to their material attachment. They say, just like Tilak, he's given his edition of Bhagavad Gita, you just do work. Wait a minute, wait a minute, I didn't finish speaking remain, at, remain attached in this material world. That is his interpretation of Bhagavad Gita. Remain attached in this material world. That is his misinterpretation of Bhagavad Gita. Then mostly most of the interpretations of Bhagavad Gita, they try to represent 
Krishna or the supreme truth as something impersonal. Just like Dr. Raja Krishna has given his interpretation of the book, in which Krishna says, Manmara Bhagavan Dr. Always think of me and become my devotee. Dr. Raja Krishna under Manmaya Abhinga and the Slova to the Vilakam Kubra But he has given in his purport that it is not to the person Krishna. That is not the person Krishna that we should think of, but the unborn eternal within Krishna. Which is not what Krishna says. So it's not Bhagavad Gita as it is. It's it's Bhagavad Gita according to Dr. Radha Krishna. But we want Bhagavad Gita according to Krishna himself. And there are others who give their interpretation of Bhagavad Gita. You don't like to listen? You ask questions but you don't like to listen to the answer? You don't like to listen to the answer? But you're not listening, you're talking. So, if one is inimical towards God and then he tries to make some commentary, then, they are, then that will be the worst of all. So Krishna gives the summary of Bhagavad Gita that one should always think of him, become his devotee, surrender to him. But there are so many editions of Bhagavad Gita and people read it and they become very puffed up and think I'm a great scholar of Bhagavad Gita. But they don't follow the process of bhakti over the by Krishna. They don't surrender to Krishna. <laughs> So in the name of Bhagavad Gita, they just remain attached to this material world and don't actually come to Krishna. So these uh, editions of Bhagavad Gita, they are practically worse than useless because they don't serve the point of Bhagavad Gita, which is that we should surrender to Krishna. So, the misfortune that you've had of reading all these bogus editions of Bhagavad Gita, you can now rectify that if you can accept that actually uh, I'm not such a uh, greatly advanced person as I might think I am, and take Bhagavad Gita as it is. Then your actual fortune will begin. As long as we don't surrender to Krishna, even if we know all the verses of Bhagavad Gita, we can say them back to front. Then there's no real value. Just like you, you can study, now they have a subject in the university, dairy science. Previously people used to keep cows, they would feed them grass, they would take the milk and that was it. Now they have to study in the university dairy science. So you can study milk and become an expert in milk. What are the, what are the different varieties of milk? Which different cows get different types of milk? And uh, by feeding cows, which different kind of feed, what quality of milk you get. 
பசுக்களுக்கு விதவிதமான உணவு கொடுக்கறது மூலமா எந்த தரமான பால் நமக்கு கிடைக்கும் பால்ல என்ன சத்து பொருட்கள் இருக்குது யூ கேன் பிகம் அ கம்ப்ளீட் எக்ஸ்பர்ட் ஆன் டேரி சைன்ஸ் நாம வந்து இந்த பால் சம்பந்தப்பட்ட விஷயங்கள்ல ஒரு பெரிய நிபுணராகலாம் பட் இஃப் யூ டோன்ட் ட்ரிங்க் தேர் தென் யூ வாண்ட் கெட் எனி பெனிஃபிட் फ्रॉम ஆனா நாம பால் குடிக்கல அப்படினா அந்த பால்ல இருந்து நமக்கு எந்த பலனும் கிடைக்காது சோ இன் தி சேம் வே ஒன் கேன் பிகம் எ தியரெட்டிகல் ஸ்டூடண்ட் இன் பகவத் கீதா அதனால ஒருத்தர் வந்து பகவத் கீதை படித்தவரா இருக்கலாம் But unless one actually takes up what Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita, which is to perform his Ananya Bhakti, his pure devotional service, then you become a an empty skull. Ana, what the one the Krishna Bhagavad Gita was doing there, that was the Ananya Bhakti. Yet the other day, na, that is my God. This is what Krishna is teaching in Bhagavad Gita. Yet the one the Krishna Bhagavad Gita was doing there, Ananya Chinta Yanta Man. அனன்யேஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்ஜ்